everybody, this is Marcelle, and thank you for watching. And for those who are new, welcome to the process. And this is my lovely, handsome, and adorable, and sexy husband of mine, Vito. Did you call me handsome? I did. Did you call me sexy? I did. Did you call me adorable? I did. <laughs> I bet you won't say it again. You know I won't. <laughs> handsome, sexy, and adorable. That's me. That's me. Handsome, sexy, and adorable. That's me. Me too. That's me. Me too. Sexy, pretty, elegant. That's her. That's her. Sexy, pretty, elegant. That's her. That's her. <laughs> High quality character. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? <laughs> I was giving y'all pre concert. Put the donations in. Uh, what you want them to send donations to? PayPal and Cash App. <laughs> PayPal and Cash App. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're here with another video, as you have already seen in yes. the topic. Yes. You said I love you. Yes. But he did not. Or you said that you love her and she did not. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Cut. <laughs> Get him out of there. We actually saw a uh, movie. We was watching a movie. What movie was that? No, it wasn't a movie. Oh, it was a sitcom. It was a sitcom. A two and a half me. Yes. And he actually told the lady... Charlie, y'all know Charlie. Charlie, you know he yeah. told Chelsea. He told Chelsea. What name was Chelsea? Then was it Chelsea? Then it was Chelsea. It's he Chelsea. told Chelsea that he loved her. He said it. He said but it. But he didn't mean to though. <laughs> they were in the moment of something happened. I thought right. the conversation that was happening, and he right. just it just kind of came out. Right. He was like, "Cause I love you." <laughs> and she and just everything was look. silent. She didn't know what to say. She was like, oh. He can't believe he said it. <laughs> she said, oh, thank, thank you. you. And she kissed and she, him and got up out of the bed. The so we sat there and said, oh, wow. Bro. What if that happens for real? Because it does. It does. It happens for real where one person is there and the other person that, may not be. Right. Or may be still thinking about it Absolutely. or just not sure. So it's you know, funny because the other person ain't there. <laughs> yeah, right. Again, it goes back to God hooking this thing up because God's timing is everything. Our timing sucks. It sucks. Look at that there. It sucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that there. Y'all better get your t-shirt. It's on sale. <laughs> Information is in the description box. <laughs> Our timing sucks. Yes. And when when we do things in the flesh, those are the type of things that's the byproduct of the flesh doing this thing. Absolutely. When Vito and I, when he said he loved me, because uh -huh. he was the first one to say it. I was first. the first one to say it, boy. <laughs> Damn. I think it was on the phone, getting yeah. ready to get out the phone. She was shocked. She didn't know what to do. I, 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 was, I, was, I was not she prepared. I was not expecting him to say it. Mm -hmm. And when he did... I reciprocated because I felt the same way. Yeah. Again, right. I wasn't looking for him to say it. Right. Again, everything happens in God's timing. It happens naturally. Right. And that was a natural Yo. time. So when we got the phone, right. it was just like natural for him to say, right. I love you. And I was like, I love you too. Right. Oh, right. y'all got the phone. I was like, oh my God, you told me you love me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. No intimacy involved. No, no. So no. some of you even, baby, you know what? I'm gonna cut you off, but some of, some women may even say, "Okay, Vito, how did you get to that point where you guys just start courting and you say you loved her?" Mm, look at God. <laughs> look at God. <laughs> you know, when I said I love her, it wasn't a lustful, uh, romantic atmosphere. It wasn't in the heat of the moment. It, it wasn't, wasn't the, the heat flesh of the moment. that it was saying Because, you know, when you in the heat of the moment, yeah. your flesh say anything when you're feeling good. Yeah, right. <laughs> that love that I was uh, speaking to her about me loving her was from a brother to a sister aspect first. Mm. You know, when God connects things, it starts from the brother and sister love first, mm -hmm. foundation. Yep. 
So it's like a three stage process, you know, brother and sister. She will forever be my sister. And he will forever first, be my brother first. Before she's my wife. In Christ. <laughs> In Christ. And that's where the level of respect continues to reside in our relationship. Yeah. Because I always first look at her as my sister first. The foundation where truly everything started from. Because her and I, before we were intimate, or before we even consummated anything, before we ever got connected, she was my sister in Christ. Mm -hmm. That never goes away. Yep. So when I was speaking to her about me loving her, I love you. I was telling her, hey, I love you as my sister. I respect you. I respect your relationship. I respect everything about you as your relationship with God, our Father. You know? So, oh. that's, so that's where that love came from. It wasn't where her and I had intimacy. Normally, generally, that's that happens. happens in the, when, in the right. Process. Right, right. right. The, generally, when you say, because back in the day, when I said I love a I woman, love it was after her and I have had intimacy with yep. each other. But because God put it together, I was able to speak to her, uh, tell her that I love her. And I didn't even have to say, you know, hey, you know, I love you as my sister. I didn't even say that. I mean, it was a genuine love of me loving her, you know, as my sister first. Yeah. And that's what will last. If you're in a situation where one person said, I love you, and mm. the other person did not. Mm, boy. That's a red flag. It's, it's, it's been time for you to go to God, but definitely God is trying to tell you something. Yeah. Because again, God is not the author of confusion. How confused would you be if you're telling the one that you love, you love them, and they don't tell you they love you back? Yeah. You would be hurt. You'd be devastated. You, you, you would be so confused. You're trying to figure out what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one may be going too fast, other one may be going too slow. The one just know and the other one just don't know. Mm. The other one know and the other one just don't know. Right. <laughs> so you have to understand that when when God is in the middle, his timing is a perfect. I don't care how many videos we do on this channel, the root will never change. The foundation will stay the same. Yeah. If God is not the matchmaker, you're going to always have those, those struggles, those challenges in regards to, is it God? Is it not God? Does he love me? Does he love me not? It's like getting those little flowers when we was kids. And we would have a little, I love you. No, he loved me. He loved me not. He loved me. He loved me not. And you get to the last one, he loved me. And then you said, he doesn't love me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we making light of it. But it, it's a it painful, it's a painful yeah. situation. It's embarrassing. Yes, when you were saying, yeah. you're pretty much pouring out, you're pouring out everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're revealing all of you. But and you're I, being honest yeah. in the process. But sometimes that yeah. love may not be love. It may be love. Exactly. That's what I was getting ready to say. Majority of times it is, babe. We have confused love with love yes. so many Absolutely. times. Absolutely. We think lust, we think yeah. love is a feel good. Yeah. We think love is an emotion, but love is actually a deed. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. It God is. showed yeah. us love by doing something. Right. right. He didn't say, "I love you." Yeah. I love you, my 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 daughter. Yeah. I love you, my son. No, he didn't do that. Yeah. He did something. He sacrificed something. Yeah. Something that was dear to him. Yeah. His son. He gave his <laughs> son because he loved us. You see, see it wasn't a feeling because I'm sure he didn't want to. Right. If the truth be told, no one feels like giving their son to a world who hates him. Mm -hmm. Or to a wicked world. I'm sure he didn't feel like it, just like Jesus didn't feel like going to the cross. Mm. But because of his love for us, he did it anyway. He did say if there'd be any other way. That feeling didn't stop him because he knew love had nothing to do with the feeling. Love has nothing to do with how we feel at that moment because sometimes
sometimes we don't we don't feel good about each other all the time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we upset with each other. And if our love is based on you know disagreements, arguments, and and salad treatments, we'll be in and out of love every day. Right. Love is what we true love do. Love is not emotions. It has nothing to do with emotions. Exactly. And and true love is un. Conditional right, agape. Mm-hmm. No matter what he does, no right. matter what I do, I'm gonna love him anyway, despite us. That's right. That's right. And a lot of us have put conditions on our love, <laughs> which really isn't love. That's lust. Lust is fickle. Lust is emotion. Ups and down, left and right, lust, up and down, <laughs> back and forth, right. in and out. If you know right. what I mean. So <laughs> right. that that's lust. Right. True love, and this is why divorce rate is so high because we think that love is supposed to be a happily ever after and not have to go through anything and not have to fight for anything and not have to sacrifice anything. Love is a commitment. Love is a commitment. It's a deed. It's an action. It's a sacrifice. Show me. I don't want to hear. You know how I do. We don't want to hear you love me. Right. Tell me, but in the midst of telling me, I need to see this thing. Yeah, it's a balance. You have to show love. Absolutely. That's what it's not before you even speak. Absolutely. Because love can be exemplified through what you do versus even what you say. And sometimes you need to hear when someone says it more than what they do. So it goes both ways. A balance, baby. Yeah, it is a balance. And again, God's timing is a balance. God's timing is perfect. Yep. So if you're in a situation and you're saying, I love him. I don't know if he loved me back. But also you gotta also about you, you also gotta look at it like this too. A majority of relationships when they're saying that they love one another, they have already we're talking about before they're married. Be you know God had never connected together. They are basically in the flesh itself. You are in the flesh itself. Now, there is a such thing where true love is exemplified and people don't know that um, they're not going to acknowledge that God did it, right? But when they first seen each other, they just knew. They just knew that that's my soul. They call it the soulmate thing. You know, they call it the soulmate thing, which is nothing wrong with that. You can word it this way, word it that way. We go, We call it the God connect thing. You know, that's what we call it. Sorry about that. But we call it the God connect thing. That's what we call it. But generally, when we're talking, we're talking about, you know, as you're being single and as you're walking in this relationship with your God, your father, in the course of you walking in this relationship with God, your father, you have to be able to also be able to detect and discern whether or not God is connecting you with that person. And you will know it, you know, if. It does, you, don't have, you don't have to be intimately involved in order for love to be distributed. Again, when I loved Marshall, we were never intimate. You know, it was not an intimate thing because it was a spiritual connection there. Bingo. Spiritual connection. First, once that spiritual connection has been identified that it was a spiritual connection. And solidified. <laughs> Automatic love kick, kicks in. You know what I mean? Like automatic love kicks in, like uh, like the movie um, Blindside. Mm. Yeah. You know, like uh, Sandra Bullock. That love kicked in for uh, what you call them big? What you call them big? Uh, uh, big Mike. Big Mike. <laughs> love kicked in towards Big Mike, just like that, and everything just started to happen. So. It was no relationship there. It was no um, a, a development of. It was more when they first when she first saw him. It was that godly love. Like, yeah. Oh my. God. Exactly. Outside and she wanted right. to help him. Exactly. And she's able exactly. to help him. That's that spiritual Tr- godly love. Spiritual that connection. That that she wanted to help people. That's so exactly. she saw him as her brother in Christ. Right. As whether that was her right. son. She saw him she, as a son. Right. She, saw she like, wanted right. to help him. That that was the first yeah. initial love that she had to pour out into a stranger Absolutely. to help someone in there need. That's the first right. um, that's the first process of love. And then as she took him into her home and they started to develop a relationship, that love the grew. love grew into now right. a son. Right, right. Absolutely. As a son. Absolutely. And then after that, it was like, oh, this is it. It's a yeah. family. It's straight right. family. I'm going to adopt. And she right. adopted him right. into the family. Right. And now he became one of them. 
That's right. Absolutely. When God adopts us, that's it, it y'all. Sign, seal, deliver. That's it. Boom. Bam. This is your process. Trust it, love it, embrace it. Be you. And keep it moving. And keep it moving. Love you guys. Peace Don't out, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Talk to you later. And put the comments in the comments. A short video, just the way y'all like it. Just the way you like it. Damn. All right? <laughs> Any questions, put them in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Bye.